Hello, I'm Andrew Ferguson from Think Broadband. This video is to introduce the BT Wholesale iPlate that was launched in the summer of 2008 and can be purchased for around 10 to 18 pounds. The function of the iPlate is to help remove interference from telephone extensions in the home with the aim of speeding up your broadband and making it more reliable. We'll now see how to fit an iPlate to your master socket. The first step is to identify your master socket. This is normally the first socket connected to the telephone cable coming into the house and it's where your telephone extensions are wired into. The iPlate helps if you have telephone extensions wired into your phone line even if you don't have a phone plugged into them. There are various different types of master socket in use and the iPlate will only work for some. The most common master socket is a split type which looks like this. These will usually have a logo in the top left or top right corner. Those with the BT logo, the old T logo or no logo are likely to benefit from installing an iPlate. Unless you already have an ADSL faceplate like this. If you have a master socket with an open reach logo then your socket already has the functionality of an iPlate built in. So you wouldn't benefit from installing an iPlate. If you're unsure about the type of socket have a look at the phone socket identification tool on our website. Before you continue, it's important that you feel comfortable with fitting the iPlate. The cabling coming into the master socket from the exchange is BT property and shouldn't be interfered with. If you're unsure, please speak to your broadband service provider. The extensions in your property may enter through the same hole in the back of the master socket as the cable coming in from the exchange, so be careful when removing the faceplate. The extension wiring is normally wired into the uh, faceplate. To fit the eye plate around one inch of slack will be needed for the eye plate to fit comfortably. The eye plate has a slot at the bottom through which you can pass the extension cable in so you don't need to rewire it. Fitting the eye plate is simply a case of plugging it in. Then plug in the old face plate into it. The screws from your original face plate will be too short, so the eye plate comes with longer screws for you to fit. Once everything is closed up, you can plug your microfilters back in and see if your broadband service has improved. So that's it. We advise you to leave it a few days before judging the full effects of the eye plate as it may take some time for your speed to improve. Also, don't forget the eye plate may improve the reliability of your broadband line so you don't get disconnected as often due to interference. 